What's really critical for me, number one, is that this is in the undergraduate level, an all-women's college, and I really love that. I feel my strength is here, is that I can make a difference with giving my knowledge of my experience as well as my skills to those students to help them to get jobs and also to enrich their lives in terms of what other aesthetic investigations they're doing because I'm helping them to actualize their potential and that's my the reason I'm here too. I truly believe in that, that I, I really want to help all the girls here to be the best they can be. When I moved here from New York and I started teaching, I started focusing on my work as an artist and a designer, more original work. And I feel like teaching the students, my motto is stay young, hip, and current. And I'm, if I always am working with a younger generation of artists and designers, I feel like they are informing me. They are keeping me current in terms of what's going on culturally, globally, um, in the art world, in the music world. So I feel it's a two-way street. Like I'm giving to them, I'm giving them my knowledge, I'm giving them my strengths as a teacher, as an artist, as a designer. But then they're in turn kind of keeping me informed and keeping me young. In fashion design, there's two courses that I teach. One is a digital fashion class. We teach both Photoshop and Illustrator. We teach them how to do flats, how to do uh, fashion illustrations, how to do print design for the industry. And in doing so, we're working mostly in the computer lab, teaching them the Adobe package and how to apply those skills to the industry and the market. And indirectly, that will um, inform their work as a designer, but it also helps them develop standards for the industry for their portfolio. Then the other course that I teach is called Projects in Digital Print. And that course is like an independent study course and open to all majors. It's offered in fine arts. Those students can also learn how to digitally print on fabric for either a garment or for um, a fine arts piece. I'm not only digital and I'm not only hands-on in terms of painting. I really believe in analog and digital and combining the two together. And this is really the world we live in right now. They need to know how to laser cut. They need to know how to work with a 3D printer. I mean, we need to have our pulse on what's going on digitally. On the other hand, there is something to be said for craftsmanship and working with the hand and understanding what real qualitative handwork means. There's always more than one answer. There's always more than one way to problem solve. Um, and so, you know, I really try to be open to that and to humble myself to a student's process, whatever that may be, if they put in the commitment.